What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about Hologram. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what's really been moving it, and what the next big catalyst for Hologram is going to be. Before I get into any of that though, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, and with that, let's get right to it. So starting off, Hologram did go down 6.61%, 522 the low, 572 the high. So I feel like ever since a whole reverse stock split did happen, it's been rather disappointing, only because people saw on the 9th it go up considerably. So I wanted to kind of break that down on what really happened, but 2.3 million shares being traded today, 4.1 is the average. So when I did my video, which was the day before, so on the 8th, I did say that this sell-off that was happening on the 8th was unjustified. And so in reality, you could see the 9th being more of a value play. So it is just coming down to timing. So regardless, if you kind of took the whole reverse stock split out of the mix, it was going to go up anyways on the 9th. As Wall Street clearly would have saw just hologram going down on the 8th just being like unjust. So in reality, I think it's just to do with timing rather than anything. A lot of people are saying that what's going to be the start of a big, big mother of all short squeeze kind of scenarios. But uh, again, uh, I think realization came into play. But as I've stated in the past, not to keep saying it over and over, the company just needs to put out something what they're doing with all their cash. Then you will see one of these kind of situations happen where it will just blow up because right now the market cap is 60.27 million and they have roughly around 130, give or take to 140 million in cash and cash equivalents. So the math is just absolutely horrific. The fact that it's being this discounted. So the reason why it's discounted is they're kind of forecasting future dilution. So as of right now, though, there is a catalyst coming up, not next week, but the following week, and that is to do with this. So in case you guys do not know, the reason why they did the reverse stock split is to rectify a NASDAQ deficiency. So to rectify that deficiency, the NASDAQ does require a company to trade above $1 for between 10 to 20 consecutive trading days. NASDAQ has been rather lenient lately, so been allowing every company for the most part 10 days, so kind of on the low end. So in reality, ever since they did the reverse stock split on the 9th, as day one, day two, day three. So obviously another seven days left before they get the rubber stamp from the NASDAQ. So it won't come next week. The following week, the NASDAQ should give them the AOK. -okay, and that, in my opinion, could be a good catalyst for it to really push higher. And once again, um, I think just if Hologram was to put out news sooner rather than later, I think that might be advantageous, but until then, it is just going to be piggybacking off the broader market. You do see some entities out there that are somewhat interested in it. So these are all the latest 13 Fs that have been coming out. Everything in green is a new position. So you're seeing some kind of closing out. So anything in red is uh, showing that they sold out within Q3. Some entities did increase around 3,000 shares. JP or Morgan Stanley, 126%, but still... One thing that I just wanted to share with you is a lot of entities such as this, so Pro Equities, which did disclose it on the 10th, did show that they had zero shares. And same with JP Morgan in reality, showing that they only have three shares. The reason why both of those, and I do believe that both of those entities are shorting, is because through 13Fs, uh, institutions do not need to disclose short positions. So that's where this whole kind of scenario is crap. And this is the new SEC transparency rule, which should be kicked in the second half of 2025, will really benefit stocks such as Hologram. And so because when it comes to the new transparency rule, everyone will have to disclose all their long as well as short positions. So this right here is a very, very telltale sign that Pro Equities is in fact shorting hologram. And it is fair to assume JP Morgan as well. So 
Let me know you guys' thoughts on that. So that could be another good catalyst. Won't be coming anytime soon. Like I said, second half of 2025, but still, uh, at least it's uh, it's coming. But as far as shorts, it doesn't show any change or anything like that. So of course, with the whole reverse stock split, it does take Ortex a good week to really adjust. So right now it is showing as 0.45% of the free float being shorted, and that works out to be 46.59% thousand shares we'll just have to wait and see what it does actually come out as once it does adjust and everything behind the scenes but just wanted to kind of show that to you and based on this so when it did really go up on the 9th you did have two transactions buying once again could be because of the whole discounted value so 102,000 and then 127,000 were both buys and then on the 10th, there was one sell for 139,000. No transactions really occurring today to kind of take note of. But yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts. This is a very quick summary of exactly what is affecting Hologram and what entities are doing and the next big catalyst as well. So yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts. This weekend, though, there is going to be that conference. I believe it is on Saturday where china is estimated to unveil the new stimulus and so of course that was exactly what i did talk on on the 8th how hologram sell-off was somewhat unjust so that could be a another good catalyst as well for hologram to piggyback off of dependent on what is said i think it's estimated to be around 300 billion dollars so you guys know like chump change right as far as a, a new stimulus and hologram being a Chinese company, it would stand to benefit from that. So yeah, I think hologram, it's, it's definitely a lottery play. Uh, it does have some potential, like I said, with their cash and cash equivalents, but they really need to cut that shit out with all of their kind of notes and short term notes and everything like that. Pardon my French on a side note. So yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. Two things I want to share with you. Make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo. It does give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. As well, I did launch memberships under this channel. So a lot of different levels. If you're interested in just general support, if you're looking for buy signals on various different stocks, definitely take a look at my memberships. And with all that said, appreciate all of you guys watching.